evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thanks for joining us for tonight's matchup where your cast and comments are hosting the Knox Redskins. I'm Blair Zimmerman, joined on the other headset by Gage Thomas. Gage, welcome on this rainy evening. Thank you. It is um, sp starting to sprinkle again here before we have a kickoff. It's, the uh, field is probably a little bit wet, so let's see how the players can uh, fight through that tonight. Yeah, uh, we've seen this course, or this course, <laughs> I'm thinking cross country, we've seen this uh, field get pretty sloppy in games past, so uh, it definitely impacted things a few weeks back as the uh, as the ground got wet, so we'll see how it goes tonight. Uh, John Harrell protecting a pretty overwhelming Redskins victory, but I know that the comments have been uh, working hard, they're coming in tonight strong, so I look forward to seeing what they're able to do here tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Quite impressive performance last time I was here. That was uh, homecoming against Bober Comets. Almost put up a half century worth of points. Point, um, excuse me, 49 points they put up that game, and Yarber was kind of the key player in that matchup. Got defensive stops. He got uh, a couple of touchdowns as well, and just moved the ball on third down. I believe the Comets. Their key focus tonight is converting on third down because just getting the ball, uh, just moving, getting those chains moving every single time on third down, that's going to be crucial with winning any type of football game, but it's going to be magnified here tonight, especially in playing um, an incredible team like uh, the Knox Redskins. Yeah, Redskins coming into tonight 8-0 and on the season, so uh, obviously they're not looking to give up that kind of a record on the season. And... Uh, I don't know where I was going with that. Sorry, I just completely lost my train of thought and saw something shiny out on the field. It'll be one of those nights, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, absolutely. You might see um, a couple of players when they catch the ball might be running a little bit gingerly, trying to avoid um, slipping, but that's just one of the elements of playing football. you got to be able to fight through the elements, rain, um, whether it's rain, hail, whatever it might be. I doubt it might be hail, but there could be snow. Um, but just being able to take advantage in certain situations, in certain situations, for all we know, maybe the Collins can get an edge uh, with this type of weather. Absolutely. You know I mean, if it could all be done digitally, we wouldn't play them, but it can't. So we appreciate the work that John Harrell and Co. put in. But we're going to watch them play it out here tonight. So, uh, Collins elected to. The first, they received the ball at the start of the second half. So, uh, quarterback and kicker Gavin Molenkoff will send this one away to start this matchup. That one's a low line kick, caught it around the 24 yard line. Cut up field, gets blockers, and brought down at around the 43 yard line. It's one of the things you're going to have to magnify in the comments. Uh, players are going to get slippery. They're wearing helmets that are prone to get slippery. Um, so tackling is going to be a big piece of this comments up upset if they can pull it off here tonight. First and 10 from the 42-yard line. Knox Redskins coming out. Back in the gun to start this play. Low snap, it's a quarterback option. Gage Manier looking to make a play. They would have pushed him out of bounds though, so good heads up play there by Manier. We're gonna have a short second down up here. Waiting for that down marker to go down. Looks like second and five. Probably not going to see a lot of pass attempts from either side of the of the ball, especially because the ball itself is going to be pretty slippery. Pretty slippery. It's going to be hard for receivers to get their footing down. So we're going to see a lot of grinding out matchup tonight. Open field. Check the field. He's got blockers. Conroy down the sideline. That's looking like a sure touchdown, and Knox puts on six to start their opening drive. Conroy found a wide open hole in that Comets defensive line and just found another gear and went. Oh 
We're going for two here to start their opening drive. Back in the gun, it's a quarterback power. Looks like he is in. So unfortunate start here for the Comets, but Knox leading by eight. Yep, less than 30 seconds off the clock. Knocks up eight, nothing. We're gonna step away, thank our sponsors. You're watching Cast and Comments Football here on RTC TV4. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, just before the commercial break ended, uh, Knox kicked off and uh, Comments received, brought the ball up to, looks like their own 30, 30 or 31 yard line. I believe it's the 31 yard line. Yep, that's just the scoreboard same. So first offensive drive and play here for the Comets. Molenkoff back in the gun. Rittenhouse in motion, Molenkoff to pass to start, and that one just a little bit off target. Going for the freshman, Rigney, out on the sideline. As the rain begins to come down harder, I'm kind of surprised that they took the option to put him in the air. Yeah, absolutely, especially going up with a tremendous team that knocks that. You're going to try to look for any edge you can find, whether it's explosive plays by passing the ball. Uh, the comments, they can't let up here. they got to keep staying aggressive this entire game if they're hoping to pull off something special. Same exact formation. This one's going to be a sweep. Defensive ends and tackles do their job there, bringing down for a loss. Third and 11, I'm coming here for this Comets offense. Molenkoff, back to throw. Pass tip. Comets now fourth and long. Yep, those passes rolling out of the pocket. Uh, they're hard to do in the first place, but when the ball is wet and slippery and you're just hoping to keep your footing, those passes become three or four times harder than they normally would. I can't imagine the Comets not punting at this point, and they are in punt formation. Yep, Levi Martin back to punt. Levi Martin, let's just win the air. Good punt, but might be an offside. False start, excuse me. So, tremendous punt there by Martin, but see if he can do it two times in a row here. Here you go, the Comets send this one away on fourth down. Martin, another really good punt. This one's going to keep on rolling back. Finds a hole, cuts up field. Flag is out on the field, but he's cutting back. Nothing but green grass in front of him. This one's going to be in for another six points, but might have to hold my tongue because there is a flag down on the play. Yeah, flag early on that play. And that will be holding against the receiving Redskins. Yep, Comets catch a break there. Way back. 
Well, that looks like they put 15 yards on the receiving location. That must have been personal foul. I guess so. Really nothing else we can think of up here in the booth besides something personal. Um, call on the field was holding, but looks like they brought back an extra five yards. So Knox taking over nearly at their own red zone. Looks like the Knox sideline is pleading their case there. So first and 10, 22 yard line cut up field. Oh wow, that's got that. room. He's going to move the chains. Just went right through. Was that, number, was that a Chase Anga? I do believe it, it was. It was. And he just knocked him down like he wasn't even there. Yeah, this uh, Comets defensive line has a, a lot of pressure to perform here tonight, especially with the field being as what is it is. You're going to see a lot of runs. So it's their job to get back there and try to make a play for this Comets team. Defensive line has played relatively well this entire season. Uh, so let's see if they can keep it up here tonight. Outside handoff here on the jet sweep. Oh, cuts There's back Martin. in. See Martin there. He kind of took it slow trying to make that tackle, just trying not to lose his footing. And in spite of all the motion, it looks like they only picked up a couple yards on that. Yep, great play by the common secondary to prevent that one from going for any more plus, plus yardage. Back in the gun here. It's a quarterback power right up the middle of the field. It's Levi Martin making that tackle. Excuse me, Landon Rigney making that tackle, the freshman. Miles McLaughlin uh, with that keeper. Now, I was informed that McLaughlin is now within about 10 points of breaking the school record. So, you know, he's got, uh, he's got some extra gas in the tank here tonight. Yeah, great blocking upfield. That offensive line working hard down the sideline. And looks like Landon Rigney making that stop again. Of course, it's hard to see from the... Rain bouncing off the, the window, but I'm just going to assume that was Rigney. <laughs> <laughs> Works for me. <laughs> We're trying our best up here. It is blurry. I'm going to have to talk to uh, our new athletic director about installing some windshield wipers on these <laughs> windows. <laughs> so the outside pitch there cuts back up field. It's McLaughlin again. So Comet's secondary playing pretty well here on this drive. Being able to get some stops in the backfield. See if they can keep it up for at least two more plays. Right up the middle of the field. Ball is out on the field. Leg might have been down, but we'll have to see. So that would have been a fumble recovery for the Redskins. So catching a break here on this drive. There's those slippery field conditions. Yeah, absolutely. This this field, we've seen it be slippery when it's super duper dry. We've also seen it slippery when it's wet. Great defensive play there by Yaden being able to bring him down. That was uh, Chase Engett initially making the tackle and Yaden being able to get his knee down. So fourth and around seven. You're in fourth down territory right here. See what they call up. Between the power they've been able to show already in the uh, first couple minutes here tonight, uh, and the distance, I would think they'd go for it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Comet's going to have to find some here on fourth down. Because even if they were to turn over on downs right here, they're not giving Comet's great feel. And they do turn over on downs. How about that? Levi Martin, he's been making plays all season on the defense side of the ball. Does another one right there. 
Those are the big key plays that we're going to look back on in this game is can you stop them on fourth down, whether long or short? Can you get plays when you're on the opposing team's side of the football field? All these little things can add up to some, to some big points, and that's what the Comets are looking for tonight. Absolutely. Comets now taking over on, looks like they're 35. Conroy's number five, McLaughlin's number two. Okay. Conroy's five. Back in the gun, Molenkoff keeper. Great work by that offensive line. Now it's in a gain of four. Don't see a lot of those quarterback keeper plays for the, for the Comets, but just trying to draw up something different here. Yeah, you got to keep things changing up, and especially when a lot of the change up this season has been putting it in the air, but as it gets more slippery. Bonkoff, he's back to run. Nothing oh. there. <sighs> big, big sack for the... Knox line there. There's nothing Molenkoff could do there when that offensive line collapsed. Uh, he could have thrown it away, but it probably would have been an intentional grounding call. Really had no one open um, in the receiving vicinity. So clutch third down upcoming. Third and, third and ten is what the scoreboard is saying. Under ten seconds on the play clock. Fumble on the play, Molenkoff. Ooh, big sack there. Just Fourth and miles now. Yeah, Molenkoff just lucky to hold onto the ball there. Looking like he might have had a chance to fumble that one, but able to retain it. So Comets uh, punting unit will come out for a second time in this first quarter. Levi Martin, tremendous two punts actually on that first um, time on fourth down. Looking to send this one deep again. Low snap. Moderately low ball. Muffed kick. But gets some pretty positive return yards right there. Around a gain of 13. <coughs> Great stop there by, I believe that was Landon Rigney. Yep, already had. A couple good defensive tackles, another one piling up right there. Oh, excuse me, that was Grant Yaden. Back in the gun. Oh, finds Here's a convoy. hole. Convoy down, running, and a first down picked up. I'm surprised Knox haven't ran more under center comparing to how slippery this field is and how wet the ball is, but continuing to go from the gun has worked for them, and it's they're up 8-0, so might as well keep on doing it. <coughs> McLaughlin back here to pass. Got a trip set and a quarterback keeper right up the middle of the field. He's cutting back. Lowes the shoulder pad, picks up a couple extra yards. Freshman Ashton Boyer picking up that tackle. <laughs> Knox now first and 10 from the 11. Great work by the Comets defensive line. Getting a stop there on first down. So second and 10 upcoming here. Yep, and I'm just looking at the forecast right now. This rain is not supposed to stop for the next couple hours. So by the time we're done, it's probably still gonna be pouring just like it is now. So both sides are gonna have to find a way to fight through this weather. Yeah, last forecast I saw, I told, uh, I told my cross country runners to bring their spikes and scuba gear for our sectional tomorrow. And finds a hole into the end zone. 
But they're he, saying a touchdown. I don't know. He uh, he jumped over a defender though. I didn't think he could do that in high school. Far side ref saved on a touchdown. A little bit of confusion here. And it is and confirmed signaling. touchdown. <clears throat> now what's interesting about that is I remember a couple years ago, Sam Smith had a touchdown called back for jumping over a defender. I believe it was there for that one. That was pretty crazy, but unfortunately to see that one called back. And a... And it looks like they will put two more on that. So Rowan Jordan there converted on two. <clears throat> so with 317 left in the first, Knox now up 16 to nothing. We're going to step away and thank our sponsors. You're watching Cast and Comments Football here on RTC TV. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Got my commercials lined up a little bit better this time. Conroy with the ball in the tee, ready to kick off to the receiving comments. Good kick there. Comets received. Believe that's Yarber. Cuts up field. Excuse me, that was uh, Kyle Rodebush there. So churning his legs, picking up a couple extra yardage, and Comets with their third offensive drive of the game is upcoming. Molenkoff in the gun formation. Knox showing pressure here. Molenkoff hands it off to Rigney. Rigney, nothing found there on the first play of this drive. And we saw that play work against Culver, but this Knox uh, cornerbacks and defensive lines just have been putting on a show uh, to start this first half. And uh, those outside runs, although they worked last time I was here at the Comet Crater, have not on the plan here to start this game. Well, you don't come into uh, don't come into a game with an eight no record against the schedule that Knox plays, letting letting things get by you. Yeah, absolutely, a tremendous football team put together a phenomenal season so far. Another outside handoff to Rigney. Excuse me, Angot with that run. Back up to the original line of scrimmage, it looks like. <clears throat> Casting offense, just struggling to get forward momentum here in this first quarter. 90 yep. seconds remain in the first. Yep, and all we've seen, it just takes one big play to seemingly get back in a ball game. Comet's only down by two scores. So getting seven or eight or six here can put them right back in the ball game. And a timeout called. And Knox using the first timeout of the evening. We'll take this opportunity to step away and thank our sponsors. You're watching Cast and Comments Football here on RTC TV4. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Team's taken back to the field. Molenkoff in the gun, rolling out. And a dart there to Yaden. Great pass, though, but only gaining around three or four. And these comments, this comments offense, they've, they've rolled out to the left and the right, but I believe that the comments sure want to get something going down the field. Uh, they're going to have to let Molenkoff sit back in the pocket because rolling out, um, it's tremendously hard, especially with the pouring down raid we're having here tonight. So um, 
Possibly looking for a couple of a little muff punt there and a turnover. Unfortunate term of events there by this common special team. Redskins taking possession at about the Comets 25 yard line. Back to throw, McLaughlin looking high, has a man open, and a dime seemingly to the back of the end zone for six. Tremendous pass there by Miles McLaughlin, and knocks up big here in the first half. The and I gotta give props there to McLaughlin. Pouring down rain, 30 yard pass on an out route. That's known to be the hardest pass to throw uh, in football in general. And just being able to put it right in the bread basket, it's pretty phenomenal defense. It was good looking. offense. <laughs> it was good looking play. Absolutely. You gotta give credit where credit's due. Lined up for the PAT. This one is deflected. Well, with just under a minute left in the first, Knox now up 22 nothing over Caston. We're going to step away and th say thank you to our sponsors. You're watching Caston Comets Football here on RTC TV4. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Comets, or Comets, Comets and the Redskins, both teams quick back out on the field after that touchdown. Kick it off for the Redskins, number five, Conroy. Back deep to the receive for the comments, number 19, Routabush, and 21, Yaden. Routabush and Yaden back deep to receive. Conroy kicks it off. That one placed on the two-yard line. Tremendous kick. Big return here. Getting outside. Has a couple blockers and brought down. Tackled by the shoelaces. Good gain of yards on that. Yeah, with that kick being at the two-yard line, that was the best-case scenario for the Comets. And the rain has about tripled. And you know, we were talking in that break about that sideways rain, and I'm looking out there. It looks like we're starting to get some wind with it. <clears throat> Bobbled snap. That one just low. Looks like uh, the center herd just couldn't keep a hand on it. I wanted to, didn't get more than a couple inches off the ground. So not only catching the ball, but snapping the ball is going to be a pretty big factor here for the Comets. Might have to see a couple more under center looks. And that will run out the first quarter. We were, will step away and thank our sponsors, and we'll come back for second quarter action here on RTC TV4. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Comets taking over their second and, I've got that marked a little wrong, second and 15 on their own 18 yard line. Yeah. 
It almost looked like they had a hole there, but just not, able to, just not able to explode through it there on that play. I think as soon as the ball was snapped, about four people were on the ground from slipping, so. Comets now third and long. It is like a shower here at the Comet Credit. It is just pouring down rain. And flags, flags all over the place. Yeah, all the refs saw the same thing there. I remember one time I played football for one year back in sixth grade, and uh, we had a game at North Judson, and it was there was puddles on the field by the <laughs> second quarter. It was it started pouring at the beginning of the first, and there was just like six, eight inch deep puddles, not joking, on that football field. It was just pouring down rain. All right, I didn't see what that penalty was, but uh, it was against the Comets. Most likely gonna assume that was a holding penalty, especially with how slippery these jerseys are here. In a fumble strip and recovered, looks like by Knox. So one of the factors when playing in the rain like this, that ball becomes slippery, as so does your skin. So pretty much in all runs, you're probably gonna have to car car carry the ball with a little bit of extra caution there. So Knox uh, gets the ball back in tremendous field, field position here inside the Comets 25 yard line. Four yards from the red zone. There's a quarterback option right there to cut back wide yeah. open lane. Wow. That defensive line just disintegrated. That's one of the things when it comes to football, that secondary for the Comets. You can send one or two guys, but you, you always need to make sure there's one guy staying back. In case of a cutback like we saw there, uh, all the Comets secondary went, cut back, and unsurprisingly a big hole there. That was uh, Rowan Jordan taking that one in for six. So Knox going for two. Field goal is pretty much useless here at this point with how, how hard it's pouring down right here. Back to throw. Jordan, it's caught. Middle of the field. Touchdown. That was a high arcing pass there, but great hands being able to pull it down. Well, 10.55 left in the half, and Knox now with a 30-0 lead. You're watching Cast of Comets Football here on RTC TV4. All right, Comets set to receive. Onside kick here. A bobble, and Knox looks like they had the football. A collision on that cover attempt. McFatchers looked like he had... Almost certainly a pickup. Levi Martin down, but slow to get up. Holding that knee, but he looks like he, he's going to be okay. Comets fans not happy with that Knox decision to onside that. Not at all. <clears throat> Quarterback Heber McLaughlin right up the middle of the field. Just short of a first down. Second and one looks like. Tackle there by one of our seniors, Pete Duvall.
Back to throw, McLaughlin finds that short flat route. And that is a touchdown. So, Mercy Rule already in play here just into the second quarter. Of course, the running clock won't start until second half. My apologies, did not know that. <laughs> yep, so comments have 10 minutes to chip into that 35-point deficit. Yep, definitely possible here. Going for two here, roll out. And no good on that. Knox, though, up 36 nothing with 10 minutes left in the half. All right, well, we'll be back in a few moments. This is Casting Comments Football on RTC TV4. All right, Conroy back to kick for the Redskins. Another high onside kick here, but uh, Pete Duvall able to catch that one. <clears throat> and again, that home crowd not happy with the choice to onside that. Yeah, honestly, really no point here, especially being up uh, 36 points before the, f the end of the first half. Really uh, kind of not needed for Knox's offense. They're already up by a large amount. Uh, kind of just hoping to find something going here on offense. Yeah, Comet's struggling to make forward progression. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't be wouldn't be surprised to find that we're in negative yardage for the night. And once again, tackled behind the line. Chase Engett there with the carry. <laughs> Comments now second and 11. <laughs> yeah, I'm just able to look over at the stats and the comments are at negative 11 yards and 14 plays. Certainly not ideal for this Comets offense, no. especially playing in rain. And I'm, I'm kind of surprised to see Molenkoff staying back in the gun, not moving up under center. Yeah, absolutely, especially with the ball. It just keeps getting slipperier. And uh, oftentimes, quarterbacks try to get up farther towards the center to prevent, to prevent a possible fumble on the play. So, Interesting third down upcoming here. Comets have passed it on both their attempts here on this drive. Uh, interested to what they see, what they decide to do here on third. It's be another handoff to Angit, but that one just going nowhere. It's Knox defensive line putting together quite the performance here tonight. So out come Molenkoff and Levi Martin back to send this one away. Oh, and Levi Martin, another muff. And just able to get that one up and away. It turns out to be quite spectacular kick, to be honest. Yeah, that was... Uh that was definitely a case of making something out of nothing. Yeah, absolutely. That ball is super duper slippery. Um, just throws it up in the air, puts his leg up next to it, and sends that <laughs> one away. Athletic play there for Martin. Might want to try to get him some gloves, be able to hold on to that one. Rain not letting up here at the crater. Keeps on pouring down. 
Yeah, it won't be long before we have those puddles that you're talking about from LaVille. Yep. Fumble. Fumble on the play. Knox able to recover it. Second and ten from their own twenty eight. Cut back there. Keep on charging downfield. Definitely moving the uh, chains, flag out on the field. And as this game has progressed, we've seen the senior Rowan Jordan get more and more offensive plays from the quarterback position. Um, and he's made the most of them. Got a two point conversion pass earlier in this game and picks up a large chunk of yardage right there. I didn't see what that, oh, they're moving the ball back, so that was a penalty against Knox. Second and seven at the 32 yard line right here. Comet's showing pressure. That's exactly what's going to happen, but a cut back inside. But that tackle there by the Comets. That was uh, number 79. Ash, uh, Brody Brewer there, the freshman. Third and short here for this Knox offense. Good tackle there by Brody Brewer on the last play. See if the Comets can get another clutch tackle here on third down. Back in the gun, expect another power play, and that one's an option. He's breaking out towards the outside once again. That is number nine, Rowan Jordan there. And they're going to call that in the end zone. Everyone in up here in the press box is kind of doubting that one, but the refs, they're down there in the field and we're not, so they're calling it a touchdown. <laughs> Before we have something short out, I'm here with the poison. I won't latch it, so you should be able to take it up. Don't keep your hand together. Hide your hand. Yeah, you do it okay? Out towards the back, left pylon of the end zone, but that one's no good. Scores 42. Two nothing here at the Comet Crater. Just under five minutes and 40 seconds left in this first half of play. That's still a lot of football in the first half for that kind of a lead. Well, when we come back, we'll see if the Comets can start building an answer. You're watching Casting Comets Football here on RTC TV4. Now, you think they're going to do three short kicks in a row, Gage? I got no idea. This Knox team has been unpredictable. Looks like they're going to send this one away. Ball rolls around 20 yards because of that slick field. And you can just see the ball carrier's feet slide out from under him there. That was Grant Yaden. Yeah, especially running very gingerly, we saw. Trying to take his best step, but this field just giving away. 
Yeah, at this point, even the cleats aren't quite enough to get him traction. So, um, Comet's down by 42 points. Um, probably not going to look at a win here for the Comets, but sectional week is coming up. So, at this point, the Comets are thinking about one thing only, and it's how can we build off of this in the situation we're in. It's, the weather's unpredictable. We, after all, we could see in sectional week that it could be pouring down rain. So how can we play through the elements here in this game? What can we do better? What are the plays that work for us on offense? What can we do better on defense to get stops? At this point, it's really just experimentation. What can the comments do to just get something going on both sides of the ball? Yeah, absolutely. Of course, uh, speaking of sectionals, they will the Comets will be traveling to North White looking for some vengeance against a Vikings team that beat them earlier in the season. Comets, lots of blockers on the left-hand side. Bolenkov takes a shot towards... Oh, man, there's a pick. Once again, we've heard that name before. Rowan Jordan having a complete night of football here. Gets the interception. Great awareness by Comets defender, or suddenly Comets defenders, uh, to get him shoved out of bounds, not give him any room to run, because uh, we've seen him make the most of very little already here tonight. Yeah, looks that would normally look open in a standardized uh, game. Um, you have to make sure that they're extra open, especially when playing in uh, wind or rain, because that ball, it's going to come out high, and it's going to come out uh, with not the same amount of juice as it normally would. So just making sure that you're putting the ball where you want to is going to be a big part of this Comets offense moving forward. Moving forward. Great defense by the Comets. Those are those small mo moments I was talking about earlier. What can we do differently to get something going on either side of the ball? That's Brody Brewer. His second big tackle here tonight. Back in the gun here, option here with McLaughlin. McLaughlin cutting back up the side of the field, gets out of a tackle, but tackle by the shoestring. He's going to pick up the first down just by a couple of yards. Right up the middle, we'll move the chains again, and he may have a break. Yes, that's all the way in. Once again, these offensive players' legs are going to be hard to tackle as this game goes on, and that's uh, one of the many times we've seen Knox players get out wide, uh, get out of a shoestring tackle and taking it to the house. Knox set for two. That one. Was that in? That, according to the officials, that was in. Couldn't see that one very well. Our tripod was in the way there. So Knox now at a half century advantage over the casting comments. We'll be back in a few moments here on RTC TV4. So I was just informed that McLaughlin just got the points he needed to set the school record. You said the previous record was his dad's? No, his dad had the previous record. He had the score. 
Gotcha. He passes that last one. Gotcha. Okay, and he passed his dad's rushing record last week. So, uh, record-setting season for McLaughlin. Always love, always love to see an athlete doing well. And oof, good return there by I believe that was Grant Yaden. No, that was Kyle Rautabush. Thought he was down about twice as he came through that host. Three and a half minutes still here in this first half. Chase Hanga, once again, the ball carrier. Not a, quite able to make anything happen with that. Got the ball back up to the line of scrimmage. Oh, and a missed time snap there, but the freshman Rigney able to get it back, oh, and, and the, the ball pops out. And we got a flag out there. Other guys in the press box saying it could be a face mask. Well, that's one of the positive places to grab in this kind of weather. Yeah, especially as a defensive player, uh, finding the right spots to make a tackle can be extremely difficult, especially with how slippery these guys can be on the offense side of the ball, and it looks like it is going to be a face mask. So move the comments downfield, and we will have a new set of downs. So, excuse me, second and one here. Upcoming here for this Comets offense. So, not a first down, but good chance here to pick it up. Grant Yaden losing yards there. Just under two minutes here for this Comets offense at the ending of the first half. Five seconds left on the play clock. Comets going to have to get this one off, and they do. And we got a flag out there. Another fumble. Already calling a false start here on the Comets, so looks like we're going to have replay of third down. Comets back to looks like third and nine. Third and nine here. Rain picking up even more here at the crater. It's just pouring. And another fumble, Comets. And another flag. Another flag as well, so we've seen that move before just on the last play that the Comets had. Another this, false start on the Comets. This ball is just becoming 
increasingly impossible to hold on to. Stay mistakes here for the Comet. So you can have a longer third down attempt here. Just over a minute remaining in this first half. Scoreboard says a first and fifth, I mean, excuse me, a third and 15. It's going to be a run right up the middle, and that one just goes nowhere. And the punt team returns to the field. Just, yep, we got seconds left here in this first half, so Comet's trying not to let the Redskins have a golden opportunity to put on another 6-4 half, so they're just going to punt this one away. See if Levi Martin can get one off here. Hopefully able to hold onto the ball on the snap. There it is. Yep, and a really good punt there. That one's going to keep on rolling, especially in these conditions. Tremendous punt there. Comets pick it up. And 18 seconds left before half. So Redskins have their playbook wide open on what they want to do here on first down right before the half ends. They could knee it and go to half already, or they could try to take one last big shot before the quarter expires. Comets will get the ball to receive the second half. And they are going to knee us into the half. So going into half, Knox Redskins up 50 to nothing over the Comets. We'll be back after the halftime break for second half action with a running clock here on RTC TV4. All right, and the Redskins putting a new kicker on the field this half. Jabez Yarber and Grant Yaden back deep to receive. Counts will have a running clock for the rest of this matchup. This was a low arcing kick here. Secured by Kyle Radebush. And off to Chase Angett, gets through one tackle, first down and more. So good start here for the Comets offense, picks up the first down and gain a 12. Good to see those chains moving for the Comets. Absolutely, let's hope we can see more of it. Hopefully put this one in the end zone for six or maybe seven or eight. So first and 10 upcoming after the 12 yard gain from Chase Engett. It's a fumbled snap by Molenkoff and he just has to kneel that one down.
Molenkoff back in the gun. And flag. Offsides on the Redskins. <clears throat> Thomas now second and eight, knocking on the door of the 50-yard line. And Grant Yaden tackled for a loss. Third and 14 uh, coming here for the Comets. Ball at their own 41 yard line. Molenkopf once again from the gun. Yarber. Back to receive it on the sweep, and that one goes nowhere. Less than ideal third down play there for the Comets. Now come the special teams unit. Comets going to be set up in pump formation. Levi Martin to send this one away. Isaac Singleton back to receive the punt. Levi Martin once again. Tremendous punt there. That one's going to be marked down. Looks like just inside the 25 yard line. Laughlin back in the gun. And Knox going to use a timeout here. So we'll be back. You're watching Cast Comments Football here on RTC TV. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Team's not using that whole timeout. Uh... Redskins not able to make any forward momentum to speak of on that on that play. Second and long here, second and nine. Upcoming here for McLaughlin in this offense. Run right up the middle. He has blockers down the field. Comet's able to bring him down for a short gain. So great work there by the Comet's defensive line. Able to prevent a big play from happening right there. And around third and mid, around third and five upcoming here for this Knox offense. Noah Hurd will come in for Brody Brewer here for the Comets. Fumbled carry. Brought down just around the line of scrimmage. Once again, that was Rowan Jordan. He's played pretty well here tonight and runs for around two yards there. So fourth and four. Quick substitutions here for the Comets. Chase Enge out and the freshman McFatridge back in. Fourth and mid here for the Redskins. From the gun, it's McLaughlin. Hand off. 
And he's churning. He's going to pick up the first down. <coughs> Collins met him at the line to gain, but just able to keep his legs churning. Picks up the first down and then some. Oh, fumble out. Collins dive on it. That looks like his Are knee was gonna, down. I was going to say, were they going to call that out after the tackle? Ruin Jordan here from the gun. Collins showing obvious pressure here in the handoff. Collins meet him behind the line, looks like. Probably going to lose a yard there. Number 14, Isaac Singleton, the ball carrier. Tackled by number 64, Zane Hipsher. Zane Hipsher getting his first tackle of the night, the sophomore. There's Jordan, hands it off. That one cuts back and a fumble. Comets land on it. They're going to have the ball. The ref's already pointing that way. It's Comet ball. So it looks like a really positive game there for the Redskins. Just a short bobble and the Comets able to dive on it. They're going to steal possession here. That's just one of those things we were talking about, how quickly something can turn around. A uh, big play going for the Redskins. Slippery field conditions. Change that up for them. Absolutely, football one of those one of those sports where all it takes is one play to make a massive difference in the course of a game. Probably not going to see a, a huge impact, but nonetheless, it's great to have the ball back. Long cough from the gun. It's a handoff to Angit. He's going to be met behind the line. It's a loss of around one. Chase just struggling to get forward momentum here tonight. Under two minutes left in the third. Comet's quick to the line here. They're not going to get this one off. But it looks like the refs are going to let it slide. Molenkov here to keep. He's being met at the line of scrimmage. Comet's fortunate to get that playoff. Had around, set the one around one or two seconds late, but able to get that one off. Pick up of one right there. Third and 11 here for the Comets. Yeah, we're hitting 10 seconds on that play clock. Comets going to have to hurry up and get set. Comets got three seconds to get off. Another run with Engit right up the middle, and he's just going to be brought down. Once again, that secondary for Knox just put together a phenomenal night so far, and they just rush Angie right there, being able to get him back at the line of scrimmage. Comments now once again fourth and long. Looks like they're most likely going to let this one tick out, and they will. Not looking to run another play. So 
So that'll take us into the fourth. Knox still with the 50 point advantage. Commons able to hold him scoreless here in the third. We'll be back after these words for fourth quarter action here on RTC TV4. To play here. Collins to send this one away. Levi Martin. He just put on a clinic here, punting the ball. That one looking like it could stop inside the 10. How about that punt from Levi Martin? Put that one around the 6 or the 7. Great defensive field position there for the Comets. That one's just a, a power move there. Very unique offensive setup right there from Knox. I haven't seen that one, I don't think, ever. Hot around three or four guys on the left side of the football, then goes back right on the run. Nothing to be found there. So it's going to be second and ten. Still going to be there. You'll be there, but we'll be in the initial order. It sounds like he'd be the man. Little fumble on that. No wrestling. Did we get the ball? <clears throat> we weren't able to get that ball, but uh, we're able to tackle for a pretty major loss there. You know, good play there by the Comets defense, bringing up a third and long. This one is supposed to be spotted inside the five yard line. Thomas can manage to get a stop here or an incompletion, possibly looking at a punt here for the Redskins. Here in a dime look here. Owns a high snap option and it's short. The ball is out but recovered by the Redskins. So Cookie has been crumbling in terms uh, for the Redskins here tonight. Be able to recover two fumbles on one drive. And best case scenario, especially being inside your own five yard line. So fourth and around 15, 14 yards. They're under center here. It's a pitch handoff. Kama's trying to get out wide. Bold move, not able to convert. <clears throat> So Knox will turn over deep in their own backfield. Now comes the comments offense, Hope, hopeful to get touchdown up on the board here. Not sure why Redskins didn't send that away. They've had they've been phenomenal on the offensive side of the ball there, but being inside your own five yard line, uh, probably best to just punt that one away. Uh, but the Comets will take it, and they got a first and ten inside the red zone. Molenkoff from the gun here. It's a handoff. And <clears throat> excuse me, the officials will blow that one dead. Just under a minute 40 remaining here in this one. Uh, that's, Excuse me, seven that's 7.40. <laughs> hey, it's, it's a little blurry trying to look out through these windows, though. So in fairness, I, I can see why it might look like. I've been going back and forth trying to read this play clock. Yeah, I'm not the best with numbers. Molenkoff's going to keep this. He's going to get outside. 
Yeah, I'm not known to be particularly good with numbers or in mm. math, but. Molenkoff uh, ran a lot of yards to pick up one. Yeah, I kind of was just trying to find something to hopefully get some fire started in this wet, wet in this wet weather here for the Comets. Third and long here on a third and nine. I'm going to say the Comets could try to put this one in the air, try to get one into the end zone before this clock expires. Three, two, one. And now let's just get it off. Wow. It's a pass, and Wolkoff just throwing that one away. Comets are going to stay on the field for this one. Just under 15 seconds on the play clock. I would expect a pass here. Low snap. Molenkoff, it's a handoff, and it's a bobbled handoff. Picked up right back to the Comets. That, uh, excuse me, that was recovered by the Redskins. Number 24, Logan Taylor recovered that one. And Knox then taking over on their own 17. Just over five minutes remain in the game here tonight. Good stop there by the Comets. Gain of about a yard. Run right up the middle of the field and a first down picked up. Chain gang keeps on moving. Just under four minutes remaining in this last quarter of play. Freshman ball carrier on that play for the Redskins. Cameron Duff. And a flag on the field. Offsides on the Comets. And it looks like we're going to have another Redskins first down. Passing the three minute mark to go in the game here tonight. Clock just ticking down here, run right up the middle for Knox. Getting around five, run game has been working all night for them and they're gonna keep on doing it here. So clock just getting milked down. Well, 
Well, as we hit the two-minute mark, I just definitely want to shout out our cameraman, Carson Harness. Absolutely. Up on the, <laughs> up on the roof of the uh, press box here tonight, braving this wind and rain. Uh, froze to the bone. I probably, probably owe him a little extra on this one. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. He's probably fishing up there, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, that'll move the chains again for the Redskins. First and 10 here with just over a minute remaining in this one. Inside handoff, flag is thrown. Brought down for a gain of around seven. And they're indicating penalty against Knox. <coughs> Holding on the offense here, so marching back. 10 yards and replay this first down. Might not even need to put one off, so they won't. Might just let this one tick out. Yep, play clock more than the game clock. Yep. Absolutely, that looks like it's gonna be the end of this one. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate you sticking with us tonight. Knox gonna walk out of here this evening with a continuing an undefeated record on the season. Uh, appreciate you guys coming by here tonight. Uh, I'm Blair Zimmerman. And I'm Gage Thomas. And this is RTC TV4. Good night.